Hey guys, what's going on? Jeremy LaFrance of Backstage Entertainment. We are sitting on the tour bus of Il Nino, sitting here with Christian. Christian, what's going on? Chilling, man. Just chilling. chilling. Yeah, Just we're having a good old relaxing day. That's right. You guys, you're kind of talking. I mean, fans don't get to really see the backstage part of this, but you guys are bored throughout the day. So <laughs> bored. Extremely bored. So bored that we watch silly shows, yeah, I mean, what do you eat got? really you, bad food. You got food. Ralphie May over here. Well, this was actually funny. We actually uh, met his bus driver like two days ago. Uh, where we met our buses, so he gave us this. He actually gave us this. Really? Yeah, so we got a couple DVDs. It was like the first thing that we watched as soon as the bus started driving. And I never knew he was funny. Yeah. He's fucking hysterical, actually. Yeah, yep. I know our, our college, when I went to college, they hosted him, got to meet him and everything, and he's a pretty cool guy. So. Cool dude, yeah, yeah. A couple yeah. of the guys met his bulldog. His bus driver brought the bulldog out and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have a bulldog myself, so really? I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean... On the, let's talk about the tour. You guys are with Static X. Uh, so I guess craziest thing that's happened on the tour so far. Can you recall this anything? I mean, well, I mean, we just started the tour yesterday. The Static X El Nino and Muir tour just started yesterday. Right. So so far, the craziest thing that has happened is really just technical difficulties. Like nothing oh, really okay. insane has happened yet. But we've toured with Static X before, man, and had really awesome time touring with them. And. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm sure a lot of crazy shit's gonna happen on the tour. Yeah. But the first day is mostly just we gotta make sure the gear's okay yeah. and everybody gets through the show and that nothing really breaks, that nobody forgot something, you know. So the first day is really crucial for our crew guys, and uh, and for us to really get our shit together. Yeah. And to also make sure we get rest at night so that for the rest of, we're gonna be out on tour for another two months, two and, and a right. half months. So. We don't want to get it started on the wrong foot. Yeah. We want to just, you know, make sure that the show is the most important thing. I mean, that's the main reason we're here for. But um, but we toured with Static X before, man. Had awesome experiences with them, you know. Right. And went to Australia with them and had a blast. First time I visited the Sydney Opera House was with those guys. Yeah. Tony Campos and stuff. And just awesome guys. I couldn't be more honored or flattered to be on the road right. with them, you know. that The fact that they asked us to come on the road with them is awesome yeah. i mean we would have been bored as fuck as home at home right, right. you know we would have been like sucking our thumbs what are we, okay what are we yeah. where are we gonna tour yeah but um but doing this tour with static x and the mirror is just yeah. awesome well, we, we have an interview with wayne here in a little bit but is there anything you can forewarn us about or how well, what's wayne like i guess in wayne's or, totally it, chill man is he totally okay. chill dude bro i mean really down to earth he likes his music he likes to chill relax and really focus on music and i think that's uh as an artist that's that's what you should do right you know um i don't think as artists we should uh have uh you know one million public opinions and things like that he's not really that kind of dude he's about the music and about um his his style and defining who he is and mm -hmm. doing his thing away from everything else that's going on in music and I think that's I could really really respect that a lot. Yeah. Well, it's nice when you know guys off the stage are you know chill like yourself too. You know, oh, off the you. stage and on the stage, you know, because fans sometimes you know you hear rumors about some people being complete dicks or something like that off stage. Well, I mean, everybody has a bad day here and there. Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, not there is not one human being that will have a great day every single day. Maybe yeah. unless you're a monk or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, everybody's allowed to have a bad day here and there. There are there are people in bands that have bad days every single day yeah you know and in their in their mind psychologically they're stuck within this uh, you know mentality and uh it's just silly you yeah. know you're supposed to enjoy life no matter right. what it is but uh doing this kind of thing is not really for everybody and if you're probably a shithead to your fans it probably means that you're just not having a good time <laughs> on the road there's our homeboy from yeah. nine electric by the way oh we should come on in come on Hi. in we're just doing an interview you want to come What's on that? in <laughs> Say on? hello. Uh, I don't want to interview, you know, interview your interview. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, Michael from Nine Electric. Join with these awesome dudes from El Nino. Very sweet guys, these guys, man. Yeah. He's, likewise, everyone's getting along on this tour. This tour is going to be fucking fun. This is only day yeah. two, and we're already having a great time. Yeah. And I think the audience is feeling that. So enjoy your interview. You All, All right. right. Well, right thanks up. for stopping thanks in. For <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like you said, I mean, you just guys coming in and out. Nice guys behind the scenes and everything i mean i tell you we, we've done over 100 interviews i think and we haven't really had anybody been mean to us or anything like that so it's well i mean it's nice you, when you see that you guys are normal people you yeah know? well i mean to press people a lot, of, a lot you know if a rock star is kind of like a shithead to his fans he most likely won't act like that to press because right. you know he doesn't want to be uh perceived as that but mm -hmm. 
sometimes you know they are shitheads they won't sign autographs right right you know they don't want nobody around them which is i mean i'm not one to say who is who but yeah you know people are people and 50 percent of us are really shitty yeah (laughs) you know the human race is not necessarily a great you know uh, no secret there (laughs) yeah exactly yeah i mean speaking of autographs too i mean you guys are even nice enough we're doing contests and stuff on the backstage entertainment page you guys can like us and you guys are signing some stuff for us to give away so you guys are awesome maybe somebody will get something cool out of it yeah if you if you go to our page you guys can try and win some of this stuff so that's awesome uh but talk about the new album coming out here in october i mean you guys will be on tour so you're probably promoting that you know i'm playing some songs off of it now and then when it's released you're i'm still gonna kind of go that way we haven't like added a new song yet okay because we technically haven't released any new music yet but Ah. like within this next week week and a half we're putting out the okay the lyric video for the i guess the first teaser song yep the depression um so we're gonna start playing that one as soon as the video comes out and then we'll probably play uh two songs towards closer to the release of the record right um, but the record is really phenomenal, man. Uh, the only, uh, you know, I don't want to like hype it too much. I really just want the fans to go out there, get it, and judge it for themselves. But we've been um, playing it for a lot of our really, really close friends and fans, and not really coming to the conclusion on our own that it's an amazing record. Yeah. But just the feedback we're getting from our label, our industry friends that have been in the industry for a long time, but that were fans of the band. Uh, the feedback really is holy shit like holy shit this new El Nino record like are you fucking kidding me holy shit and uh, and I hope everybody really takes that away from him man because we worked really hard (coughs) we poured our hearts into it Um, we were able to put all the bullshit away produce the record ourselves yeah Um, we recorded it most mostly all of it was recorded at Laz's and I studio in Hoboken New Jersey okay and uh, and being that we didn't. Have, we weren't working with a producer. Um, my job as the engineer, I tried to make it as comfortable for each guy that came in the studio. No pressure. Do what you really feel is right for the song. Yeah. Do right by the song. Nobody's gonna tell you what to do. Just do right by the song. And I think that we needed to do that as a band. Um, you know, in the beginning, we began as a band that we really. Um, you know, a couple of us really knew what we wanted to hear and. You know, our first record wasn't overly produced, um, so we, we still had a very good uh, knowledge of what it is that we wanted. And uh, through the years, you work with people and producers, and sometimes they draw band members apart and make them argue over parts and right. who gets their choice, you know. And um, on the last record was the first record that we worked without a producer and even then we had to still kind of kick off some of the kinks from like arguments of parts and things and who gets their way right but um (coughs) but on this record we were able to surpass any egotistical um uh, subconscious uh, forcing of anything onto anybody (coughs) and even though you know the songs um, are written from three different perspectives. Uh, Aru wrote some songs, Laz wrote a couple songs, uh, I wrote songs. You could really tell the record is focused within one style, within the style of El Nino, because I think we allowed ourselves to finally, without the pressure of pushing shit on each other, just, I'm going to take your song and I'm going to do justice by it. Right. And, uh, you know, you don't have to tell me what you want to hear in it. I'm going to do justice with the style that I can bring to the band. In other words, exactly. just be yourself um, and don't do wrong by the song. And right. I think that I think that's probably the best way. It's, I'm, it's how the music industry was started. Yeah. You know, the music industry um, was started with just teams, very small teams of people working together. You know, Elvis, the Beatles, things like that. Uh, you know, it's just the band and maybe one other guy, you know, not too much going on. And um uh, and on the new record, we just wanted to make a record for our fans, man, and wash away the bullshit and the ego in the band, and the <laughs> I want this and you want that, and we all want different things, and it's no longer about that. It's like we're El Nino, right. and do what the band deserves, not what you think should be, mm-hmm. you know. But within that, obviously, is it is yourself and what you want to hear, and, yeah. and I think it just took a little while for us to be able to learn, relearn what it is that we want to hear without having somebody else suggesting things or saying that idea of yours is 
the one that is better out of these three, you know. And uh, and it just, you know, I think it led to a lot of separation between each other as musicians. And on this record, I think that's all washed away. Yeah. And, and it's it's very uh, evident. When yeah. you hear the songs, you'll be able to hear yeah. And all that stuff happens in the music industry, and you just keep moving on. And exactly. You guys, I mean, exactly. you guys get to a... Sometimes you got to lose yourself to find yourself again. Exactly. Right? Yep. So but you guys, I mean, bottom line is you guys are doing what you love, and then getting out to the fans and everything and I'm sure all that's yeah. you know just the fans what are you the want. reason we do this that's exactly it, you know? exactly how about for new fans out there top songs that you want them to listen to first like maybe one or two songs that you want them to listen to first to really kind of get the taste of El Nino in their mouth okay um, uh, the depression is definitely a really really cool song to get a first taste of the record okay. but uh I would say it's definitely not the most powerful material on the record. It's just a teaser song. Okay. Or <laughs> as strong as it is, I mean, it's a really, really dope song. Yeah. But the material on the record is so powerful, and you know, there's a, a lot of really, really good message behind the album. Right. Um, I would say. Let me try to think. The one song that we have on the record called "Eva" is really, really good. A song okay. that Laz wrote, and then we kind of put things together yeah. in it. Um, Another really, really good song on the record. Um, I forget the track listing. Hold on, let me look Otherwise, you know, a, a, a song out of all of your guys' songs, too. That um, Well, I'm probably going to be picking the new stuff, man, because yeah? it's just the new record is so potent, man. Well, yeah, and you're proud of it. So, yeah, you got to... Let's see what we got. Um, another good song for the fan to check out, or for anybody to check out, yeah. really, is uh, would be Invisible People, which is track 10 on the record. Okay. Or um, Demigod, Time Won't Save You, La Epidemia, which is a song that um, Frankie from Immure did with me on the record. I mean, the whole record is really good, man. Yeah, I mean, just listen I, to the whole thing. I really well, can't I have pick it. one. Yeah, I really can't pick one. Uh, I think that El Nino fans are going to have a hard time really picking a favorite, yeah. a favorite on the record. Okay. Because it's really that. It's really that focused. We okay. only did 10 songs. We wanted to just focus on yep. really good music, and that's it. Okay. Well, next part of the interview, I kind of said that we have something special that we do in our interviews. We have what's called a BSC box, which if you don't mind holding this for me, sure. uh, we just we unveiled <coughs> a new look to the box just uh, a week ago. So you guys are one of the first fans to really see it. So you check this out. <laughs> this is our BSC box. Uh, we have fans enter. Uh, in contests or just like our page, you guys can get your own questions in on this box, and you're just gonna draw some questions here. All so, right. Let's see. Let's it. see what we got. Exactly. Let's see if I win the lottery. That's right. We do have crazy. Do it. And I, I won't look. <laughs> and I'll go all the way to the bottom to pick one, so everybody sees I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> do <laughs> your best, evil life. <laughs> 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 Do I throw it back in there? Here, I'll take it so we don't draw it. You're the first one to get that one. I was hoping you wouldn't be shy from that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> you live on a tour bus with 10 dudes, yeah. you lose shyness really quick. <laughs> All right, let me see. How many do I have to pick? Whatever you want to do. We're, we're right, I'll do two more. Okay. Is that two cool? More. Yep. All right, let me see. Damn, that's a long one. That's what she said. Testing your reading skills, too. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be any movie character. Superman, hello. I mean, that's go. easy. Mine he too. could fucking do anything, that's right? Right. Um, yeah, man, when I grew up in South America, Superman was like the only fucking character we had down there to look up to. You know, everything else was like non-existent. Right. You know, Superman, Superman, you know, yeah. the South American hero. That's all I could say. That's right. All right, let me see. Last one. one more. Here we go. Get a good one. All right. What animal would you have as a pet that's not a normal pet? Mm, that's interesting. Uh, you said you had a bulldog earlier. I have an English bulldog. Uh, he looks like a pig, so maybe a pig. Okay. You know? I mean, it's not a normal pet. I know that in Texas and places like that, it's starting to become a normal household pet. But uh, probably a pig, man. My little bulldog looks like a pig, and okay. it's making me appreciate pigs more. Gotcha. And this is why I gave up eating meat, because he actually looks like a cow and a pig blended together. And why would I want to eat an English bulldog? There you go. You know, besides a cow and a pig wouldn't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last. Message. Awesome, man. Yes, thank you very much. Any message you want to do for the fans, just to end things now? Um, just 
from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for sticking by us for so long. And, you know, this record really is for you guys. Uh, there might not be a lot of songs on it, but the songs are really, really focused. And uh, we worked really hard. And just go out and listen to it, man. I think you'll make your own uh, conclusions about the album. And I'm pretty sure El Nino fans will be pretty blown away by it, believe it or not. There you go. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Once again, Christian from El Nino. Guys, go check them out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You guys got all that as well, as long as, as we do too. Backstage Entertainment. Again, Christian, El Nino, guys. Hey, everyone. Make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.